In the 1930s and 40s, the, uh, the water still ran a little bit. There was a trickle of water. Uh, I interviewed a bunch of elders, and uh, some of the quotes in here are actually statements made to me by Elder John Hunter Odom. He said, there were cottonwood trees that looked like a jungle. It was so green and so thick that you couldn't even enter along the waterway he was describing. And what happened was that people kept moving to where they had wells, because previously you lived near the springs, but they were dry, so now you went to where you could uh, pump water from wells, these windmills. And um, eventually that went dry, and they used water barrels, even having water delivered. Uh, one person said that uh, if uh, before, if you dug down 12 inches, you would find water. 12 inches is one foot. That water was that available. Now you have to dig 2,000 feet. Um, the Sarko mine I mentioned opened in the 1950s, but by that time, uh, 1945, the Santa Cruz River was dry all the way to the Gila River. You had a series of droughts in the 1960s. The charcoals dried up. Now you could not even graze animals because you had no grass. Uh, that highway that you can see on the map, Highway 19, was then built. That didn't help matters any. Uh, in 1986, the Bureau of Indian Affairs told the Tone Odom they had to stop farming completely because they could no longer sustain farming. 